Shalom Yash Allah. I'm gonna start by saying all praise, all glory, all honor, all power, all wisdom belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and wool will well. Salutation to the Aki and the highways and Bowies doing this work and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and the hopeful elect sons and daughters of Yashala that step in the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shamashiach, Shalom, Shalom. Today's lesson is about it is our duty to fear, to love believe to worship our power Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai alright a lot of people because it's, it's always been a duty for Yahshua Allah right to worship our power Yahweh the power of Abraham Isaac and Jacob right a lot of people on this side, in this society that we live in, in this age, in this world we live in, doesn't, doesn't know exactly what it's like to worship Yahweh power by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They just act, you just you just say things and you just say you love Yahweh and doesn't and it doesn't have to do anything. But you have to show Yahweh power, our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that you love him, that you fear him. But by doing something, right? Right? Because for you to for you to show love, you have to you have to have an action with it. There's an action behind everything. If you see everything that's love, believe. A, a how you call that worship, all those things have to have an action behind it. Right? Let's go to Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Feel God and keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. See? At the end of the day, the conclusion is about that. The conclusion of the whole matter is to feel God and keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. It's a duty to feel the most high. See, it's a duty to love your power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. You men of Yahshua, you men of Israel, that's your primary job to worship your power and to believe in Him. For it is waiting, right? To let's say, put no gods before Him, right? It didn't say that to the other nations, right? Let's get that in Exodus, right? 20. Because it's a commandment that the Messiah said, put no other gods before him, right? See? It said in 20 verse 1, and God speak all those words saying, I am Yahweh thy power. You see? Yahweh make it, make it, make it clear that he is our power, Yahweh, right? The power of Yahshua, the power of Israel, right? We shall brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Those shall have no other God before me. That's a commitment that the Lord have given. Like he said in Ecclesiastes, this is the conclusion of the whole matter. See? And then the Lord said, Though, verse 3, Those shall not have no other gods before me. Those shall not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above and that is the and that is in the earth beneath, and that is in the water on the earth. See, if you obey those all those commandments that the Lord, 
of those words that the Lord has spoke unto us, right? That's the words right here. The Lord said, and God speak all those words saying, see, that's the word of the Most High. Don't have any other gods before me. No other gods, no other power can come before the Lord. The Lord period. And that's what that is exclusively for Yasha Allah. It's your duty, again, to fear the Most High, to love Him, right? To believe in Him and to worship Him. See? And to serve Him. Right? And this, this is the whole duty of man again, right? Let's go to Sirach, right? right? Sirach, chapter 34, verse 13. The spirit of those that fear Yahweh shall live, for their hope is in him that saved them. Like he said, the Lord said, the one that saved us out of bondage in the land of Egypt, right? And let's see that again. Sirach, chapter 34, verse 13. The spirit of those that fear Yahweh shall live, for their hope is in him that saved him. See? And the Lord is speaking exclusively to Yash Allah. Okay? Because he was the one, he was Yahweh power, but Hashem Yahusha was to was was Yasha Allah that is saved out of the land of Egypt and out of all the bondage that we are bent into. And that is the one that's gonna save us again in the latter days from the captivity that we are suffering under Esau Edom. Right? Let's go to Ecclesiastes 1, right? And then eight. Now, Sirach, I, I mean, Sirach, chapter 1, verse 8. Sirach, Sirach, chapter 1, verse 8. There is one wise and greatly to be fair. The Lord sitteth upon his throne. Okay? There is one wise and greatly to be fair. The Lord sitteth upon his own throne. Right? Let's get to a uh, verse 21. The fear of Yahweh drive away sins, and where is it where is present? It turn away wrath. Okay. Where is fear is present, it turn away wrath from the Lord. You have to fear the most high. See? At the end of the day, it's the fear of the most high that should be driving you, right? Let's go to Proverbs 1. Nine. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. One and seven. Proverbs one verse seven. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fool despise wisdom and instruction. Okay. When you fear the Lord, if when you when you fear the most eh, eh, the Lord, you can have knowledge and understanding. See. And the Lord gonna instruct you the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua gonna instruct you because you're gonna fear the Lord. And when you fear, you shall live and be saved on the light in the latter days. Right? Let's get to a proverb again. Right. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge is the holy of the holy is understanding. When you fear to the Lord, you gain under you gain wisdom. And the knowledge of the, the holy is understanding. You get to understand your power, Yahweh by Hashem You see? All those things coming together. And one. Right? Let's go to Deuteronomy, right? Ten. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Yashallah, what do Yahweh thy power require of thee? See, there was a requirement. There's a duty 
right? That the Lord require of thee to fear Yahweh thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him and to serve him, to serve the Lord Yahweh thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. See? First, you have to fear the Lord. You have to love Yahweh by Hashem You have to serve him. Yahweh power by Hashem You have to worship your power, Yahweh by Hashem And you have to believe in him with all your heart and with all thy soul. That's what we cry of thee, Yahshua Allah. For it's your duty and your requirement. I'm talking to you, so-called black, Latino, Native American, you of the stock of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This message is up to you. It is your duty to feel Yahweh, to love him, to believe in him, to serve him with all our heart, with all our soul, right? To keep his commandment and his statutes and if that, those things will serve you well if you do all that, right? Let's go to John, right? Let's go to first John. Let's see what Yahusha said himself, right? Let's see, let's see, John. Let's see. Let's go to Yahusha. Let's go to Matthew first. 10 and 28. 10 and 28. Matthew 10, verse 28. This is Yahusha speaking. See, fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But why they fear him which is able to destroy both soul and hell, both soul and body and hell. Okay? Who can do that? The Mosai Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. That's what you have to fear. Because you don't fear the Mosai. You're going to wonder in the, how, uh, 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 in the way of uh, 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 your soul going to die, right? Without understanding. You're going to be in darkness on those times. Not feeling the Mosai. Not believing in him. Not serving him. Not loving the Mosai. You have power by Hashem. You shy. Why? Are you love the Mosai? Are you feel the Mosai? It's too different. It's, it's really up to you. And the Mosai have to give you that spirit for you to fear him. All right? Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 22. Fear ye not me, seek Yahweh power. Will you not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand of the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree? That it cannot pass, I cannot cannot pass it, and do the wave thereof, toast themselves, yet can they not prevail? Do their war, yet can they not pass over it? Tell it, it's asking you a little question, right? Fear ye not me, said Yahweh power. See? You did with the power that I want you to fear him. When you fear the Lord, you do what exactly what the Lord told you to, to do, right? When you love the Lord, you do what exactly what the Lord told you to do. When you respect the Lord, you do what exactly what the Lord told you to do. When you serve Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha, you follow after his ways. You follow after the words that he told unto Yahshua Allah, right? If you say you worship the Lord, you should worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. See? And that's exactly that the time that we are in, Yahshua Allah, right? And that's the time that we are in. We are in the time to feel the Mosai, because the judgment that Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha is going to put up on this earth. It's going to be the time that the Lord is going to show you that you should fear Him. Okay? And fear is going to fall upon them. Those that don't want to fear the most high. Now it's the time to seek after your power. Yahweh by Hashem Okay? Now, you see, you have to love the most high. 
you truly have to love your help power by Ashina Oshai. See? Let's go. See? Let's go to Luke. 10 and 27, right? Luke chapter 10, verse 27. And he said, and said, Thou shall love thy, thy, thy Lord, thy power, Yahweh, thy power, with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. You see? That's one of the commandments that the Lord has given you. To love Yahweh, thy power, with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy strength. That's how much you have to love to Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushua. Alright? Let's go to Matthew 22, you know. 20. 20 Matthew 22. 27. 37. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. With all thy mind, you see? Yahweh power by Hashem Yahweh Shai should always be in your mind, Yahshua Allah. Right? Always be in your mind. You're supposed to recite the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in your mind all the time. To take on the scriptures all the time. All that you do, you're supposed to worship our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And those two, and the second is like unto thee. This is the first and great commandment. This is the first and great commandment. Who gives that commandment? Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. And you have Yahushai given to unto you again. Yahushai, the, the only begotten son of Yahweh, of Yahweh, telling you this is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You're supposed to love your brothers as yourself. And those two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Who was the law given to? To Yahshua Allah, you so-called black Latinos and American, those of the of the stock of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's what the law was given to. Right? Let's go to Deuteronomy, right? Six. Deuteronomy chapter six. Deuteronomy 6, verse 4. Ye, O Israel, O Yashala, Yahweh, our power, is one Yahweh. It's one Lord, right? And thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. That's the word of Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. And this word which I command thee this day, should be in thy heart. You see, should be in your mind. Those things to love the powder. You see, those words are commended, right? The Lord commanded those things, right? Sh should be in thy heart, right? Let's go to Matthew 4 and 4, right? Let's see. Ay, 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 Matthew. Uh. That's your house shall speak in, right? But he answered and said, It is waiting. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Messiah Yahweh. Right? See? He commanded those words unto us, Yashallah. And man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Messiah. If he was commanded unto us, we should be able to do it. Right? Let's go to Mark 12. Mark 12 and 29. This is Yahushai speaking, right? And Yahushai answered and said, and said him, 
the first of all the commandment is here. Is here, O Israel, Yahweh, our power, is one Lord. And thou shalt love thy, thy, thy and thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and all thy strength. And this is the first commandment. This is the first commandment, Yahshua. See? And the second is namely this. Do show love thy neighbor as thyself. There is no other commandment greater than this. See? And one of those commandments also have no gods before before Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. No put no other gods before Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Because the Lord is not playing Yahshua Allah. Right? Let's go to First John. First John chapter five, verse one: Whosoever believe that Yahushua is the is the is the Amashiak, is born of God, is born of the Most High, and everyone that love Him, that begat, love Him also, that is begotten of Him, right? But this is this we will know that we love the children of God when we love the Most High. And keep his commandments. You see, for you to say you love a Yahweh power, you have to keep his commandments. If you say you love the sons and daughters of Yash of of the, of the Mosai Yahweh, you have to keep the commandments. For this is the love of Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai, that will keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. You see, for this is the love of God. If you say you love God, you have to keep his commandments. Right? And his commandments are not grievous, right? See? Let's go to first John, right? First John. So Ephesians chapter 2, uh, verse, uh, chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. You see, if you say you love your father, if you, that means you know him if you love your father. For you to know him, you have to, for you to love him, you have to know him, right? But for you to know him and to love him, you have to keep his commandments. He that said, I, I know him and keep not his commandment is a liar. And the truth is not him in him. Because the higher power is the power of truth. But whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of God perfected. See? That's what the love of the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai is perfected in you. Hereby know with that we are in him. See? If he keep his commandment. You're gonna show you showing love to the most high Yahweh and that you are in him. He that said he abided in him of himself also so to walk even as he walk. See that's exactly the time that will end. And the thing is, you have to serve your power. You have to worship your power, right? Like your house I told you, right? Let's go to John 4. See? John chapter 4 verse 22. You worship, you know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is is of the Jews. A lot of our bodies in this truth, right? Now see, a lot of people, especially of Yahshua, right? That claim that they know Jesus, they, they know Yahweh, they know uh, Yahweh Shamashia, we the world, you know, called Jesus Christ, right? They will say they know him, right? But they don't know what they worship. They worship a, a, a so called white Jesus, right? That's what they worship. They worship the thing on name only. But not indeed. 
verse 23 but the hour coming and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seek such to worship him i i worship the, the father in spirit and in truth right like let's go to women's right you're gonna see how you worship the father right and how you love the father how you feel the father right women's chapter 7 verse 14 Romans chapter 7 verse 14 For we know that the law is spiritual But I am carnal so on the sin You see The law is spiritual You see In the law That's that come the spirit You see that He that worship the most I must worship in spirit And in, and in truth right And what's the truth again The law again you See The law make you spiritual And that's how you worship the most right Let's go Let's go to uh Psalm One nineteen, uh, one forty-two. Psalm one nineteen, verse one forty-two. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. See, yeah. How shall I say? I come into the, I come into the volume of the book. And it's waiting of me. Yeah, how shall I say I'm the truth, the life? See? See, he that come to the Father must come by me, right? Because he's the door. And he is the truth. Right? And that law is the truth. For you to say you worship the Father in spirit and in truth, you have to keep the law. You have to keep the commandment of Yahweh. Why Yahusha Mashiach? See, trouble and anguish have taken hold of me, yet thy commandment are my delights. You see, I cry my whole heart, he O Yahweh, I will keep thy statues. You have to keep the, the commandment, the, the Lord, the commandment, the statues of the Most High. That's why you worship the higher power in spirit and in truth. By keeping the Lord the commandments. And by doing so, that means you show the Lord that you fear him. That's exactly what we do in Yash Allah, right? Let's go to Psalm 96. In Psalm 96 verse 8 Give unto Yahweh the glory due unto his name Bring an offering and come unto his courts Or worship Yahweh in the beauty of holiness Fear before him all the earth You see Worship and fear work together Worship and love the Most High work together Serving the Most High Yahweh power Go together. Believe on Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. Go together. Say, verse 10. Say among the hidden that Yahweh power reign. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. It shall judge the people righteously. Let the heaven rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let they see woe and the fullness thereof. Let the, let the field be joyful and all that is the end. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Before Yahweh, for he cometh, for the cometh to judge the earth, he shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Ooh. With his truth, Yashallah. What is the truth? The law. You get the law. Kind of, it's gonna be your judge at this time. See, the law of Moses that was given unto Moses by Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. That's what gonna be your judge on the last days. Do you keep the law of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai? Do you keep the commandments, statutes, and his laws? That's the question that's gonna be asked in those times. Right? Let's go to uh, Joshua. 
24. Uh, Joshua 24 verse 14. Now therefore fear Yahweh. See, the word fear. And serve him in, in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your father set on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye Yahweh. You see? See, serve Yahweh, fear Yahweh, is to keep his commandment and his statutes and his laws and keep the sins of the words of Yahweh, why Yahusha Mashiach, in sincerity and in truth. Verse 15, and if it seem evil unto you to serve Yahweh, choose ye this day whom you shall serve, whether the gods which your father served that were and the other side of the flood. Or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh our power. Right? We will worship our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. That's who we're gonna serve. That's who we're gonna fear. That's who we're gonna love. Right? By keeping his commandments, his statutes, and his laws. Because that's what the Mosai is seeking. Right? Let's get let's get I see the scripture again, but let's close with that, right? Ecclesiastes, right? Twelve. Ecclesiastes twelve verse thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fill Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. See? At the end of the day, let's go to the whole duty. See? Can see the word duty, right? You say right, right? You say right to worship Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, right? This is the rights of men of Yasha'ala to worship our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And with that, brothers and sisters, I hope you are edified. I'm going to give all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing belong to our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Yahushai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and rule will well. Salutation to the Akiyam that's in the highways and bowers doing this work in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and the hopeful elect sons and daughters of Yashallah that step in the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh. Wa Yahweh Shamashiat Shalom Shalom Abod Babo Kom Yashuala Dithye Shalom.